In this lesson, we're going to paint the skin of our character. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and isolate um, the head, because that's what we're going to be painting on in this first lesson. So let's come in and let's just right click on the head. And you'll see isolate. Go ahead and left click on that. And that's going to isolate everything. So that's just a better way, instead of going through the object list and uh, hiding all of those, we can just isolate it this way. Okay. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and start working on the uh, the skin tones that we're going to see um, on this character. And so what I like to do is I like to break it down into uh, three different colors, red, yellow, and blue. Um, these are going to be the three hues that you're going to see in the face, uh, especially on male characters. Uh, so to get started here, I'm going to start out with the reds. So let's create a brand new layer, and we should have base skin selected right now. And then we'll go ahead and we'll call this skin underscore warmth. Okay. And once that comes up, I'm going to go to my paintbrush tool, and let's choose a color that's going to work best for us. So you can see here that I've got a pretty good palette of colors here. And I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, pink color here. And you can see the RGB values here. So if you want to type those in, you can get the exact color that I'm using here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just leave this open because I'm going to be switching back and forth with these colors. So I'm going to bring my brush size up. So hold down B and then left click and drag. And that will bring your brush size up. Um, and then you'll also want to come in and take your strength down. So I'm going to go to about 10 on my strength. So that way I can just come in and lightly press and make those color variations. Now to start out, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the symmetry X is turned on. So just make sure that your mirror is set to X. And then what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll just lightly paint on these areas where we'll see warmth in the character's face. So this is going to kind of look like we're putting makeup on our character, but we're just adding the warmth variation on the skin. And you're going to see this along the cheeks, like so. And you're going to see it around the ears. A lot of blood flow um, is put in these areas, okay, because the skin is thinner in those areas. And then you're going to see it in the ear, okay, especially on the earlobe. And you might see a little bit inside of the ear, but not a lot. Okay, and then we'll see it along the back of the ear, just like so. Now, if you get to pressing too hard, that's okay. It's not a big issue uh, because we'll be coming in. We'll smooth out these colors by using our blur tool, okay, just to kind of bring it all together. Okay. All right. So there we go. And now that I think about it, I'm gonna actually going to change the name of that layer. Instead of being skin warmth, let's do skin color. Okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be bringing in those yellows and those blues. And that is really just going to uh, need to be mixed together, okay, to create those nice transitions. And it's a lot easier if it's all on one layer. All right, so let's continue on with the red colors here. Let's go underneath the lip here. There's a lot of warmth that that gets created here and then on top of the chin like so. Okay. And then obviously we're going to have the lips, so let's go ahead and fill that in. We might go with a little bit of a different color for this, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and we'll just leave it the way it is and fill that in. Perfect. And then we're going to pull this out. And we're going to come in and we're going to add it to the nose. And then up the side of the nose, not so much on the bridge, but up the side of the nose into the cheek. Okay. And then we're going to go around the eye. Okay. And especially on the top eyelid, we get a lot of red in that. The bottom eyelid, not so much. Okay. The bottom eyelid actually gets a little bit more blue in it than this red color. And we're going to bleed that red up into the eyebrow. Okay. And then across the top of the brow, just like so. And you might get a little bit of warmth um, here across the forehead. You can kind of add that in. Just like so. Okay, but not so much. We don't need to get too much of that. And then we'll kind of 
connect all of this together, adding just a little bit more of that red color in there. We're not going to get a lot, so you don't need to go too dark with that. Okay. And then underneath the, the neck, okay, and the chin, kind of start to create that hue variation there. And then down the side of the neck and across here, get a little bit of warmth here. And I'm just letting the pin pressure do most of the work. I'm just lightly pressing on all of this, just trying to get that color to come in. We'll see a little bit of this warmth along the side. And this is really going to create kind of a blotchiness on the skin, so that's going to help create that consistency that skin has. It's not perfect. It's not um, perfectly colored or lit. Okay, there's lots of different variations in skin. Now we could go across the back of the head here if we wanted to, uh, but I'm not going to do that because this character has hair, so we're not going to worry about that too much. All right, so now we have these uh, this red color in for our character, and now what I want to do is I want to bring in kind of this blue color. So you can see the RGB values here, and you can kind of see where the saturation is on that, and we'll come in and we'll start to lightly paint in this color, and this is going to be around the mouth, and this is pretty prominent in male characters uh, because uh, we have facial hair, okay, and it, it tends to collect and, and creates kind of this bluish hue in those areas. Now you will see this in some female characters, but most of the time uh, female characters, they have a little bit more of a consistent color in the face, okay, more along the lines of playing with shadows and highlights, things like that, so, and it all smooths out. Now all of this is going to smooth out as well. It's not going to look like this in the end. This is just what I like to do to kind of just um, block in those colors that I need for my variation on the face. Okay, and we're also going to see this on the under eye. Okay, so kind of bring that in. And there we go. So now that we have those colors in, uh, we can start to kind of blend all of this together. Now you might be asking, well, what about the yellows? Um, yellows we'll see with um, really older characters. You'll see those kind of like in the fatty deposits, like under the lip, um, you know, right here along the cheek. You might see that across the face. I really like to bring those in last because that kind of helps me to balance out this balance out the skin tone. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll grab our blur brush here and I'll just come in and I'll start to kind of blur this. Take your blur strength up to about 30 or so and I'm just lightly pressing and I'm just kind of blending all of this together. Okay, And you can see how all of that is starting to kind of fade together and it creates that skin variation that we need and it starts to bring a little bit of life to the character. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish this up. I'll go ahead over the lips as well, just to kind of give that more of a skin color. And then come over the top of this. That'll start to blend a little bit more. And this is just kind of like a base skin color. This doesn't have any blemishes or inconsistencies that we see in skin, so that might be why you, uh, it looks a little off still. So you, skin is something that you just have to be patient with, and it's something that you constantly build up. Um, and this is just the way that I like to start out, trying to get the, the hues okay, out of my skin. And then from here, what I'll do, because a lot of this starts to get really muddy, um, we don't really have much of a uh, difference in colors any longer. We, we have those base colors, but we're not where we want to be. So now what I'll do is I'll come in with some of these <coughs> darker colors, and I'll come in with that paintbrush tool again, okay? And I'll get a little more... Uh, granular with this. So I'm going to bring my size down 
<clears throat> and I'll start to go across like the eyelids, like so. Let me actually make this a little more red. And I'll start to go across the eyes like this. Okay. And across the top of that eyelid there. And we'll start to blend all that together. Okay. And then I'll come in and like wrinkles. Let me go ahead and use that that uh, pink color there. I'll come in with these wrinkles and I'll start to lay that in there because that starts to gather a little bit more color because those colors are closer together. Uh, let me go ahead and turn off my mirror on this and we'll come in and we'll start to lay that down a little bit more. See how that kind of builds up in there? And then you can go around these wrinkles and now what we've done is we've started to create some contrast in the colors of the skin and now it's starting to break up a little bit more. I'm going to bring that around the eyes as well. Kind of bringing that true color back. Okay. And then we'll bring that down into here. Let me go ahead and blur that just a little bit right here along that edge. That was from that symmetry that we had there. Okay. So all of that is starting to come back in. I'll add a little bit of that around like the chin here and in these areas. And don't be afraid of color. Um, once you start coming in and you feel like it's a little too light, you want to change up those colors you're more than welcome to add just a little bit more color in that. A little more saturation is what I mean by that. Okay. Skin is something that you may have to take a couple of tries at. Um, I know that uh, with characters I very rarely get the skin tone correct the very first time. Okay. Tends to um, try a couple of things out and I'm just like, ah, this doesn't quite look right. And so what I'll do is I'll just try and try and um, make some adjustments to the color using the adjust color but I think we're pretty close um, at this point let me go ahead and bring that color in right into this little wrinkle there okay and let me take this darker color and I'm going to bring this in on the lips a little bit just to kind of darken that up turn on my mirror okay that's looking pretty good again I've got that strength way down so it just allows me to gradually build up and find that tone that I'm looking for okay so looking pretty good might bring that down just a little bit but that's okay okay um, now at this point I can come in and I can start to bring in some of those yellow colors. So uh, something kind of along this line here uh, for this skin tone, I can come in and start to kind of paint that in along the cheek here across the front. And you see how that really starts to make that pop a little bit. So now we're seeing kind of these fatty deposits on the skin. Uh, we'll see some of these uh, right along in this area. Let me add a little bit more red to underneath the nose. I didn't realize that that was so bare there. Okay, uh, Let's go back to that yellowish color and I'll kind of start to paint that in a little bit. And we'll see a little bit across the brow. And this just kind of helps to create some contrast as well between your colors. So now you can see how uh, well that's coming in. That's looking really good. Happy with the way that looks so far.